Hey Jugger peeps, so this is a little video that I kind of wanted to make for a while, but never really had time until now. So of course the majority of Geography Now subscribers are from, you know, my home country, the US. However, we do have a very, very noticeable and sizable community of subscribers outside of the US. And some of you have expressed, you know, a little curiosity as to how each of the 50 states, you know, kind of function or what they're like. Each state does kind of have their own unique individual qualities and I'm going to try my best to explain each and every single one of them to you right now. Alabama, where both white people and black Black people are poor, but they party equally hard. Roll Tide! No, but seriously, Alabama is kind of like where the Confederacy started, so, uh, yeah, Civil War. Alaska, America's refrigerator. Seriously, this is like where we stockpile up all our resources that we won't tap into until things get really messed up. It's the largest and coldest state. You can find polar bears and the native Yupik people. Arizona, the Grand Canyon state. This is kind of like the King Desert state of the U.S. Arizona is also home to the largest Indian reservation, Navajo Nation. Arkansas, basically just read the book Where the Red Fern Grows, it basically just gives you the gist of what Arkansas is like. And the people here love dogs. They have like the highest dog ownership out of any state in the country. California, my home state. Ah, so let me just put it like this. If California somehow, for some reason, seceded from the US, it would still be like the world's seventh most powerful economic superpower. So obviously California holds a high position of geopolitical influence in our country. Nonetheless, California is still heavily dependent on the US government. We're the home of the entertainment capital of the world. Three of the largest tech companies in the world are in Silicon Valley. Crazy diversity and everything you need packed into one place, California. Colorado, our healthiest state, which has the lowest levels of obesity. This is probably because people go outdoors and get, you know, fresh air and enjoy those mountains. Just uh, be careful if someone offers you a chocolate truffle or a brownie. They are really enjoying those new cannabis laws. Connecticut is like the gentler, cleaner suburbs that people move to when they are sick and tired of New York. Delaware, the first state to become a state. And that's like literally all they got going for them. I think they have like a cardboard box factory. Florida, America's swampy playground. Seriously, like none of the houses here have basements because if you just dig down a little bit, you'll hit water. Orlando was originally built because not enough Americans could travel all the way to California to visit Disneyland, so they built Disney World. They made it bigger, and then like 8,745 other theme parks opened up. Georgia, the peach state. Home to Coca-Cola and the busiest airport in the US. Boiled peanuts and Little Miss Beauty pageants. Yeah, some places do that in America. Hawaii, the last state to become a state. Before we made Hawaii into a state, it was actually its own country. Country. Like, it was a Polynesian country. They had their own monarchy and everything. Liliuokalani was the last queen. It's pretty cool. Otherwise, you know the rest. Hula surfing, pineapples, luau's, yada yada yada. Idaho. The only fact that most Americans know about Idaho is that they grow the most potatoes out of any other state. I mean, apparently they have some cool secluded spots like hot springs and gorges. Otherwise, I feel like the people in Idaho are probably hiding a lot of dark secrets that we don't know about. Illinois. Ah, the land of Lincoln. Even though Lincoln was born in Kentucky. Now, I actually grew up a large portion of my childhood in this state. And a lot of people know this place by another name, Chicago. Seriously, like half the time people don't even know what state Chicago is in. And historically, it was known as like the slaughterhouse of America, partially because all the cows from Texas were brought up here to be slaughtered, and also because eh, there was kind of like a little bit of a mafia past. Indiana is like Illinois' annoying little brother who took the town of Gary away from Chicago and then they get to claim that they have the birthplace of Michael Jackson. No, but seriously, like the only interesting thing from here is like the Indy 500 car race. Otherwise, John Green is from here. Iowa. Iowa is like the state that was so flat and so dull that they had to find creative ways to entertain themselves. Oh, and they're known for being really good at wrestling. Kansas is the heart of the Midwest, famous for Dorothy from Wizard of Oz, and this is literally the flattest state in our entire country. Ah, Kentucky, you with your baseball bats and bourbon and KFC and horse derbies. It's also home to Fort Knox where we hide all our gold. Louisiana, ah, oh, now y'all coming down here, y'all gonna see that you gonna get the real couture cajon. Vous comprenez mon ami? Louisiana is one of the only few states left in the US that has concentrated francophone communities that speak French, kind of. Known for the bayou and a diet high in crawfish and crabs, reptiles and other swamp creatures, this place is unlike anywhere else in the US. Maine, the lobster state. This is like where all the tough Atlantic sailors come and live and have houses on foggy cliffs with lighthouses. Maryland, Maryland is like home to the richest, most well-educated black people in our country. It's also home to Olympic gold medalist Michael Phelps. They also love crab, crab cakes, baked crab, boiled crab, you cook it, they eat it. Massachusetts is like the library of America and it has our best university, indisputably in the world, Harvard. However, there's like three different types of people from Massachusetts. There's the uppity, the gritty, and the intellectual gritty. They all believe they are better than the other two. Michigan! 
I am so sorry. You were doing so well in the early 20th century. You're like one of the richest states, but then you kind of filed the largest municipal bankruptcy case in US history. Minnesota, I was actually born there. Minnesota is kind of like the Finland of America. Plus there's also like an actual lot of Finnish people and other Nordic people that live there as well. The land of 10,000 lakes. And if I must say, they have some of the most attractive people in our country. It's just uh, they have kind of funny accents. Hey kids, let's go grab our bags and read the magazines. Yeah, I grew up with that accent. Mississippi. This is like probably America's truest, deepest, southern, southern, y'all put some butter on my grits state. Speaking of butter, yes, they are the fattest state. Just they are. They love their churches, pecans, or pecans. And tons of famous people like Oprah and Elvis were born here. Missouri, America's gateway to the Midwest. Missouri is kind of like Kentucky's fraternal twin that also got mixed up in the Civil War and was kind of acting like a buffer zone. Today they are known for their Kansas City barbecue. Yeah, the largest part of Kansas City is actually in Missouri, not in Kansas. Las Vegas for old people. And people who probably collect those tacky figurines and put them in their china cabinets. Sorry Missouri, it's just that's the image that conjures up in my head when I think of you. Montana, America's big, empty, mountainous, May as well just make the whole thing an Indian reservation state. I mean, seriously, you got the Blackfoot, the Flathead, the Crow, the Cheyenne. Nebraska, corn and steak. That's literally like their only attraction. Oh, and Warren Buffett, the second richest man in America lives here. Nevada is like California's drunk girlfriend. Las Vegas alone is like 80% of what keeps the state alive. Oh, and we bury all of our nuclear waste somewhere in there too. Rock on Nevada. New Hampshire is kind of like a small autumn wonderland with beautiful foliage and wooden covered bridges. Home to Dartmouth the smallest Ivy League university. New Jersey, pretty rich and very angry. Like they don't even try to brush off the stereotype. They just own it. They either go crazy on the dance floor or crazy on each other. New Mexico is like Arizona's little brother that had to live in his shadow his whole life, but then Breaking Bad happened and now he came out with like six pack abs and a sleek new look. And uh, Roswell is supposedly where aliens landed. New York is kind of like where so much of American history got its roots. Most Caucasian Americans that have ties to immigrants from the 1800s can trace their ancestors back to Ellis Island where most Europeans came in. Home to our largest city by population, New York. Proud people with big attitudes and they never sleep. Seriously, like this whole place never stops moving. North Carolina, the first in-flight state in which the Wright brothers flew the first powered aircraft in 1903. Otherwise, Coca-Cola's arch nemesis, Pepsi, was born here. North Dakota, congratulations. Now everybody's paying attention to you because of that whole Standing Rock Reservation, Dakota Access, Pipeline, Controversy, Drama thing. In addition to a high concentration of Native Americans, there's also a lot of Norwegians that live here, many of which still speak Norwegian at home. Ohio is like the most plain Jane typical American experience state with corn dogs and fireflies in the summer with fireworks and carnivals. They also have the largest Amish population out of any other state. Then election time comes up and everything becomes a bloodbath. Oklahoma, America's tornado state. Now pretty much all of the Midwest gets tornadoes, however, Oklahoma, dang, you get hit hard. Oregon, it started out as like the frontier logging and lumber state state with burly men with axes and chainsaws. But then one day the hippies realized they couldn't afford living in San Francisco anymore. So they all just kind of moved up north. Now Oregon is like this weird lumberjack, vegan, hipster, hybrid freak show with good donuts. Pennsylvania, America's history state. We should have had our capital over here. And technically at one point, our Congress did actually meet in Philadelphia. If you want a real American history story, come here. Rhode Island, our smallest state. And it's not even an island, it's not even a peninsula. The heck, Rhode Island? Anyway, they were one of the original 13 colonies, and other than that, they really don't have much else going for them. I mean, they're home to the fictional city of Quahog in the show Family Guy, but that's about it. South Carolina. These people love their tobacco, fudge, walnuts, and it's home to the largest portion of the Gullah community. They speak their own Creole mixed with African influences, and they hold their own communal festivals and celebrations. South Dakota, the other Dakota. Home to Mount Rushmore, America's most iconic presidential landmark. They're also working on the largest sculpture in the world, the Crazy Horse Monument. Otherwise, like North Dakota, they also have a sizable Native American community, mostly part of the Sioux Nation. Tennessee is kind of like the girl down the block that Texas has a little crush on. The capital of the Appalachians, mountain folk, bluegrass. Country music artists all come here in hopes of making record deals. Now everybody knows about Texas. Texas was at one point even its own country, and in Texas, everything is bigger. Football or American football is basically a religion. Barbecue and barbecue sauce are each separate food groups. Cattle ranches are everywhere, and contrary to 
to popular belief, most Texans don't really mind Mexicans or Mexican culture as so many already live in their state that they've actually kind of developed this new Tex-Mex culture that fuses both of them. Utah, basically everybody kind of knows this place as being like America's Mormon state. Salt Lake City is like the headquarters of the Mormon church and over half of the entire state's population is registered with them. Otherwise they have great skiing, the Sundance Festival comes here all the time and they have great eroded rock formations like my favorite site in all of America, Monument Valley. Vermont is kind of like New Hampshire's smaller twin brother that makes a lot more maple syrup. Otherwise the only other thing that they got going for them is Ben and Jerry's. Like seriously, if that company goes bankrupt, they will become the next Michigan. Virginia is kind of like where everything started with the US. Essentially the British came in, they tried to start a little small town and then the whole Pocahontas thing happened and then Disney made everything incredibly accurate. It holds so much history. So Virginia and Pennsylvania, those are like the two history states. Washington, the evergreen state. Basically imagine the exact same scenario with Oregon except replace hippies with computer nerds. Bam, Microsoft, Amazon, Expedia, Starbucks, Boeing, they're all born. Oh, and a volcano erupted in the 80s and it's like really easy to catch flounder in their waters. West Virginia is like the southernmost like state that was actually part of the union during the Civil War. It was like, nope, Virginia, I'm leaving you. They are also the oldest state. The average age is about 40 and we get a lot of coal from here. Wisconsin, America's dairy land. Now, my personal belief is that everybody needs to have at least one friend from Wisconsin. I personally do. My friend Bill, he's actually the one who made the theme song for Geography Now. Wisconsin people are like the easiest to get along with. They have the best stories. They're also like home to the country's most attractive, chubby people. They don't care. They own it and they flaunt it. Wyoming, home to our country's most noticeable national park, Yellowstone. Beautiful place, waterfalls, shooting geysers, hot springs. They have tons of buffalo and it's kind of like the training grounds for actual cowboys. And here's a little bonus, Washington DC, our capital. Although it has a population higher than two states, it's not a state, it's a federal district. The president lives here sometimes, Congress assembles mostly, all the museums in the Smithsonian are free, but the hot dogs are crazy expensive. There's statues, monuments, and everywhere you are being watched. Security cameras are everywhere. So have fun! Just not too much fun. Oh yeah, and we also have those territories like Puerto Rico, Guam, Marianas, and Virgin Islands, but we'll talk about those later. All right, now very quickly before we end this video, just please stay, please, just listen. As you guys know, I've mentioned this before, I'm trying to work to save up for my heritage trip that me and my mom are taking. And as you guys know, one way I'm doing that is by doing more of these sponsored videos. And I'm very happy to announce that a great company called Skillshare has decided to sponsor Geography Now. What is Skillshare? Skillshare is an amazing online learning community with over 15,000 classes covering everything from photography to cooking to JavaScript. I'm personally keeping my eye on the French courses so that I can brush up on my French for the heritage trip that my mom and I are planning to go on. It's very simple. Once you sign up, you select which fields you're interested in learning in, and from there, Skillshare gives you options to choose from a variety of categories and channel suggestions for you to follow. What's even cooler is everyone can not only take part in the classes or try a project, but you can also become a teacher and, if possible, work on Skillshare. Membership starts at $10 a month for unlimited access to every class. However, you can get a free two-month trial by clicking on this link right here, which will also be available in the description of this video. Skillshare is also available on Android and iPhone. Phone, you can even tap into every class when you're offline. Thanks Skillshare, you guys rock. Great learning material, check them out. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. Subscribe, stay cool, stay tuned.